section yashree study in second standard c in chavra vidya bhavan matriculation higher secondary school i convey my warm greetings to all mathematics in all around us we everything we do we all know that december 22nd is national mathematics day why december 22nd is national mathematics day yeah got it it is the birthday of sir shrinivas ramanujan one of the india's greatest mathematical genius today i am going to share few things about the great man sir shrinivas ramanujan was born in erode in 1887 he was a solitary child by nature in his early age he demonstrated an affinity for mathematics he was the first indian to be elected as an eminent scientist by royal society of london in 1918 he was an expert in the interpretation of dreams and astrology his remarkable contribution to maths and number theory complex analysis the basic aim of celebrating national mathematics day is to encourage doing maths with great interest and spread the joy of learning mathematics i thank you all for giving me chance to speak about the great man Nature is max. Do you know how plants are mathematical? Without max there is no plants. If the leaves grow step by step in the stem, the downside leaves will not get any food from sunlight. So the downside leaf will fade. To avoid this problem, plants follow Fibonacci series. That starts from 1 1 2 3 5 8 13 21 34 and goes on the next number will come by adding last two numbers that is 21 plus 34 is equal to 55 here is the interesting one if we take the nearest two numbers and divide it into bigger number with a smaller number the output will be nearest to the number 1.618 The number 1.618 is known as golden ratio. It can be used in trees, leaves, seeds and flowers. To find that we want to divide 360 degree by 1.618. It will give 222.5. The remaining space will be 137.5. This is known as golden angle. Now we can check the leaves with our 137.5 degree scale paper craft. Yeah, the leaves are following 137.5 degree here. So the Fibonacci series is known as God's fingerprint. To know its geometrical structure, draw squares with length of Fibonacci numbers. and join the opposite points of all squares with an arc it will show a spiral shape this forms from nail shell satellite pictures of cyclone and even in our galaxy Equal to six hundred and seventy-two. 
is our answer. Hello everyone. We are going to see how to find the square root of a non-perfect square number without using calculator or logarithm or long division. Let's take root 28 as an example. We have to split the number into two parts. One is its nearest perfect square and other part is its balance. Next, write the square root of the first number and for this number divide it by the twice of the square root which is written in the first part. Here it is 5 plus 3 by 10. So 5 plus 0 0.3 that is equal to 5.3. If we calculate the same in calculator the answer is 5.291 both are approximately same. Now let's go with another example. Now it is a decimal number. Here 85.32 will be written as 81 which is nearest perfect square of 85.32 and balance is 4.32. Next, write the square root of 81 that is 9 plus 4.32 divided by twice 9 which is square root of 81. So it is 9 plus 4.32 divided by 18 that is equal to 9 plus 0 0.24 so the answer is 9.24 here calculator value of root 85.32 is 9.236 which is very close the same way if we take the perfect square which is greater than the given number we need to subtract the second part hi friends Let's see some amazing facts in Max. Do you know letters A, B, C and D do not appear anywhere in the spelling of 1 to 99? Friends, you check the spelling of every odd number. There will be E in it. 0 is the only number that can't be represented in Roman numerals. A palindrome number is a number that is same after rivers. Example 12,321, 1,60,061, etc. One followed by 100 zeros is called as Gogol, and one followed by Gogol zeros is called as Gogol Plex. On this known universe, there is no space to write Gogol Plex on paper. Whoa! <laughs> We are shapes, we are pretty shapes Would you like to play a game? Will you tell our names? Yeah! I go round and round I look like a wheel Who am I? Who am I? Circle! Yes, circle! I am like an egg or a circle that Long. Who am I? Who am I? Oval! Yes, oval! I have three corners and I have three sides. Who am I? Who am I? Triangle! Yes, triangle! Shapes, shapes, we are shapes, we are pretty shapes. Would you like to play a game? Will you tell our names? Corners and sides, all my sides are equal. Who am I? Who am I? Square! Yes, square! I have four corners and sides, opposites are equal.
quên 